the thing that kind of surprised me a little bit is that you and Jason were kind of going back and forth with each other on social media. Uh, I kind of shook my head a little bit. <laughs> you know, like, okay, this is the dude that just fucked your wife, and now y'all are arguing with each other on social media about who fucked her better. Like, it's, you know, I think you made the comment about the, you know, yeah, you know, your dick may be bigger, but, you know, I got something that your mama's cooking has, which is love. And <laughs> Just I'm watching this go like that was right off the top too. I just thought of that. I don't know. Like don't what know in the absolute from. fuck is going on here? Like this is really going into weird directions here. Yeah, to say the least. Um, basically, like he went and did some interviews after they shot the scene, and I think he was getting a bit of a blowback and getting some criticism, you know, because obviously this this took things to a different level for him career wise because he was already well known as a porn star, but. You know, when you're a male porn star, there is a relatively limited number of people that are paying attention to you. And mm -hmm. so he does this scene and all of a sudden he's got way more people concerned with him and criticizing his fuck skills. And cause, yeah. you know, They actually reached out to us for an interview. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I told you about this. He must have got well, a we, PR we, we, yeah, we, we, uh, we turn it down. Not, Jason, no, no offense to you. We just really don't, don't do porn star interviews. Mm -hmm. Far from Adam here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but I uh you know I I was kind of pissed at him at first just because like it sort of it sort of showed me the complications that could possibly come about from letting my girl do scenes with other guys which is that then he goes on this interview and he just starts talking a little bit too messy in terms of like being kind of critical of of me or or saying that you know she clearly enjoyed it more with him or whatever and to me it's like this is the kind of thing that apparently now if she's going to work with any other guys, we have to have a little bit of a pep talk beforehand to be like, Hey, <laughs> if you go on Vlad TV, you're not allowed to slander the size of my penis or anything like that. You know, I, I didn't expect myself to be having that conversation with these dudes, but even yesterday when I was doing this big orgy thing or whatever, I was looking at the guys that we we're shooting it with. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have to tell any of these guys if they were to do a scene with Lena that they should not, you know, offer up criticisms of me as a man on uh, on interviews afterwards. So I, I don't I don't know what got into him that he felt like that was appropriate. Uh, but I also kind of, you know, I was a little annoyed by it, but I also realized the viral potential of it right away. And I just kind of pictured myself in my head making a TikTok where I blacklisted him from my wife's vagina. And then I woke up the next day and I did it and it got 5 million views. And I was like, okay, like that was as funny as you thought it was going to be. And that's kind of been my whole perspective on this whole thing is that I was just going to lean into it and have fun with it and just sort of play the role and just make it as funny as possible because every single viral TikTok is just driving more and more people to the plug talk only fans and shit like that, which has been having, you know, the absolute most insane boost that we ever could have asked for. 